Здорово. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, what's your name? My name is Nikita, but you can call me just Nick. Okay. Nick, where are you from? I'm from Russia. And oh. where are you from? I'm from Australia. Uh, but you currently living in US, yeah? No, I'm living in the UK. Ah, UK. Yeah. Have you, have you watched one of my lessons before? No, no. Okay. So this is your very first lesson? Yes. Excellent. How did how did you find out about English journey? Uh I actually uh, I you know, I don't remember. Maybe uh, the other day I got an invitation from uh, Lingo Leo, do you know? Oh yes. Yeah. I got this uh, invitation and I want to try it. Excellent. So you're going to try some of the free lessons and see how you feel. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever taken an online English lesson before? No. So it's your first time. Excellent. Yeah. Well, welcome. I want to welcome you to English Journey. I hope you, um, you have a great time and yeah. you can uh, learn. Um, so why don't you tell me something about yourself? I know you're from Russia. Uh, are you a student or are you working? Um, you know, tell us something about yourself and what hobbies do you have and so on. Okay, uh, so I'm from Russia. Uh, I'm from Far East. Uh, I'm, I'm almost 19 years old because my birthday is on uh, 19th of September. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. So uh, I'm a student uh, of uh, Academy of Law and Economics. Uh, okay. So my major is customs, customs deal. I don't know how can I say English. Um, my hobby, uh, I I like playing the guitar, uh, skateboarding, snowboarding. Good. Mm, that's all. All right, that's excellent. That's excellent. Thank you very much for that brief intro. Okay. Um, okay, in that time we had Liz who joined us. Hello, Liz. Welcome back. Good morning, Alan. Good morning. How do you do? Great. Awesome. Um, look, Nikita, he's a, a new student now. It's, it's his first lesson. So um, perhaps you, you'd like to share a little bit uh, of your introduction as well. Do you want to say something about you? My name is Liz, and I'm 17 years old. Uh, I go to school, and um, it's my last year in the school, and in the future, in the second year, I want to uh, graduate a, a medicine university, and uh, I want to be a dentist. Excellent. That's why I should uh, provide my English to be... Um, for that reason, that I want to speak briefly with um, international persons. Mm, very good, and I think you are on a on a good path, yeah, you know, of, of achieving that because your English is pretty good, yeah, for your age especially. Yes, I know it. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Liz. And we have Natalia who joined us. Good morning, Natalia. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. It's a sunny morning. The weather is great in Moscow. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it amazing how we have we are in a we we tend we tend to be in a great mood when it's sunny outside. Yeah, yeah. I always depend on <laughs> the weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Same here. I mean, when I see sunshine outside, um, no matter where I am. If I'm inside the office in a classroom, I tend to be, you know, more cheerful. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, Natalia, tell us a little bit about yourself so Nikita can get to know you a bit. He's a new student. <clears throat> okay. I'm from Russia. I live in Moscow. I, um, I'm working now. I have a, <clears throat> a family, a husband and a daughter. Uh, she's 18. And uh, I'm here to improve my language skills. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so we're all here to uh, improve our language skills. Or all the students are here to improve their language skills. So Nikita, I'll, uh, I'll tell you briefly what I do, okay, um, what, what my duties are here as, a, as an English teacher. Um, I was instructed to focus on speaking, <clears throat> okay, so to work on the students' speaking skills and language skills. <coughs> So I do various um, methods of teaching when it comes to speaking and conversation. So you will basically learn um, uh, how to pronounce um, better, so your pronunciation, your intonation. Uh, you will build your vocabulary, okay? You, you will have uh, a higher archive of vocabulary words, and uh, your reading we're going to focus on as well, and uh, conversation. Okay, so for this lesson, uh, we're doing, um, what are we doing? Famous Places. Yeah, Famous Places is one of the um, <clears throat> series that I do. We also have Famous People. So Famous Places, we basically talk about famous places around the world. And today, what are we talking about? Yes, exactly. Did I open it? I think so. Yes, I did. Here it is. So, the Sydney Opera House. Who has um, seen this or heard about this? I have heard about it. There it is. Okay, tell us a little bit about it. What do you uh, know about Sydney it? Sydney Opera House is located in Sydney. Mm -hmm. uh, it was built in 1973, and um, the budget of this uh, Opera House was uh, 100 million dollars. Mm, excellent. Did you know that before or are you just looking at the text? <laughs> no, I haven't. So you know you know this from before. Oh, that's good. Yes. Excellent. I did a um, presentation about it. Oh, you did. Oh, how marvelous. marvelous. That's good. So you're going to enjoy this one then. <laughs> enjoy this lesson. That's good. All right. Well, okay, let me just welcome another student. Kosiak, hello. Hello. Welcome back. How are you? I'm fine with you. Very well, very well. His name is Kraman. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Roman. Yes, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Roman. Uh, Kosiak is your surname, yeah? Yeah, it's my... Yes. Nickname, maybe. Ah, nickname. I remember you're from Canada. Yeah. That's like you we. You're, you're living yes, in Canada. Exactly. Yeah. Arvin, yes, yes, yes. Welcome back. Nice to see you. <clears throat> um, what time is it there now in Canada? One eleven. Night. Ah, oh, so it's very late. It's past midnight. Yeah. Oh wow. Cool. Okay. Um, so we've just started the lesson, so we haven't done much. We're just discussing um, about the Sydney Opera House. So this is the one of the famous places that okay. we discuss. Okay. So let's have a look at these questions here. As you can see on the photo here of the drawing, this is what it looks like. What's your opinion on it? On the design of this Sydney Opera House? Do you like it? What don't you like about it? 
I like it because it, uh, it has um, unusual design. Mm. All right, good. So it's got an unusual design and it that appeals to you. Okay, Nikita, do you like this design? Design. Mm -hmm. You know the way the way it looks. Uh, I don't know. The shape. Shape. Uh, uh, yeah, I like. You also like it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Natalia? Mm, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the design of the Sydney Pro House is beautiful. It looks like a great shape with a white uh, canvas. Yeah? Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually, I was, I've been there. I haven't been inside the Opera House, but I've been outside of it, and it looks absolutely spectacular it, it's there's nothing like it in the world and um, the, the white the roof you know it's just really nice it looks it stands out especially when the sun is shining on it it's really something um, okay so do you know when it was first opened 1973 Third. 1973. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Exactly. What about um? Yeah, I think you mentioned it. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It cost a million dollars, or 100 million. Sorry, 100 million dollars to be built or constructed. Um, do any of you listen to opera music? No, I don't. <laughs> Natalia, do you like opera music? Yes, yeah, sometimes sir, I <clears throat> go to mm. opera theater, but it's very rare. <laughs> it's rare. Is it common to have that? Do you have that in um, in Russia or in the Ukraine or to have opera concerts? Yes. In, in Russian, I mean, in Russian. Are there any popular Russian opera singers? Yes, it's very um, popular, and in Moscow we have uh, open air outdoor concerts. Really? Yeah. So outdoor, outside. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the parks and um, in the big squares. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, do you like modern architecture, or? Do you maybe prefer the historical, the ancient one? What do you prefer? Nikita, maybe. Can you tell us, do you like modern architecture? Uh, I really don't like it. You don't like the modern architecture? Yeah. So what, what uh, architecture do you like? I'm sorry, I'm not interested in architecture. Oh, you don't like architecture at all? Okay. Yeah. Does anyone like architecture? Yes, I like architecture. I like um, older ones, uh, but uh, the modern architecture is great now. There are a lot of modern installations which uh, are um, uh, worth to see. Worth seeing. Worth seeing, yeah. yeah good. Worth seeing. Mm -hmm. I also agree with Natalia because uh, young architects uh, have uh, new ideas. Ah, good, yes. What else is good about the new or uh, the modern architecture <clears throat> compared to the olden one? Mm. Does it benefit? Maybe it's a new technology. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, I think it's a uh, when uh, maybe it's, uh, when you use new. So it's, uh, I don't know how to explain this. 
Yes, good. So maybe also um, it serves a purpose. Yeah. May, if you remember before, um, the ancient architecture it didn't necessarily serve a purpose. Uh, there, were, there weren't many benefits from it. Sometimes, but not, uh, not in most cases. Nowadays, if you look at uh, modern architecture, uh, a lot of it has some benefits, environmental yeah. benefits or, um, you know. Ecology. Sorry? Ecology. Ecology. Yes, good. Mm. You're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a look. So, let's read now. So, we have three, four, five, six, seven, six paragraphs. So, I'll get um, Natalia. Could you start reading, please, from the very top? Mm -hmm. The Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Australia, is famous throughout the world. It stands on Bannalong Point, a point of land that juts into Sydney Harbour, near the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The roof of the Opera House was designed and built to look like a ship under full sea. Since its official opening at October 20 in 1973, the building and its spectacular white sailed roof have become a symbol of Australia. Excellent. Perfectly read. Thank you. Uh, okay, Nikita, you can read the next paragraph, please. Uh, I'm, I don't hear any text. You don't see it? I don't see it. Yeah. Why? Um, okay, you see the video at the bottom. You have to click on me. Click on my video. Yeah. It's right next to Natalia. Click on me and then you will see a white frame around my little video, like a white box. Then you should only see my video. So if I'm sharing something, you will only see that. Does that mm. help? No, no. I can't. So what do you see? Just you in the circle. Really? Yeah. Oh. What about the other students? You can all see what I'm sharing? We can see. No. We can see. Ah, yes. maybe. Nikita, maybe you are something wrong with your Hangouts. Maybe you should refresh. Can you refresh your browser? Okay. Okay, and then see what happens. Okay, so Liz, you can continue, please. Um, the Opera House, yes? Yeah, the, the Sydney Opera House. Uh, the Sydney Opera House was designed in the late 1950s by John Utzon, a Danish architect. He quit the project in 1966 due to differences with the state government over cost and design issues, and the building was not completed until 1973. Mm -hmm. Read the next one as well. The Opera House cost close to uh, 100 million to construct. It is uh, 600 feet tall, almost uh, 390 feet wide in places, and more than 600 feet long. It sits on uh, 580 concrete piers, some of which are sunk 80 feet below the sea. Over 1 million white tiles were used to construct its famous roof, and the roof sections are held together by over 200 miles of steel cable. Excellent. Very well read. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, what does it mean, steel cable? Steel cable? Yeah. The last. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to look, look at the vocabulary uh, shortly. Okay, well, there's many more words here that we probably don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, so just let's be patient for now, okay? Um, let's just finish the text, okay? So, um, Roman, can you do the next one? Okay. I don't see the building. I don't see my ah, right now. The building has five perfect. You know, it's, it, I can see it right now. Can it's Nikita? I see just Nikita. No text. Okay. 
you, you need to click on me. See, click on my video, and then you will always only see me. So if somebody else is talking, you will not see their video pop up. Okay. Yeah? Okay. You will see like a white frame, a white box around my video at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Me... Okay, let's see. All right. Uh, so building has five performance, perfor performance rooms. Uh, the largest is a concert hall. Two, six, seven, eight seats. Uh, the smallest in the studio theater. Uh, three, uh, 364 seats. Each year, uh, two million people attend, say, 300 performance. Uh, that I have in the various areas. Uh, this include, include uh, performances by Opera Australia, mm -hmm. uh, as well as well as by the Sydney Theatre Company and the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Uh, rehearsal halls, restaurants, bars and storage shops and among the more than 100 rooms in the building. Mm, okay, good. So this will be 1,000, yeah, 1,000 rooms in the building. 1,000, yeah, 1,000 rooms in the building. Okay, and the last paragraph, Nikita, could you read the last paragraph? Can you see now? Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, the Sydney Opera House is considered by many to be one of the finest examples of modern abstract architectural design in the world. Excellent. Okay, well, well done, guys. So. There are a few words probably which you didn't understand. That's fine. Uh, most of them are these bold words like cable, which Liz already asked. So we're going to go through them shortly. I want you to, you know, try to guess the definitions in the next page. But for now, let's have a look at the comprehension questions on uh, on statements on the right. So we have five okay. statements here, and I want you to tell me if they are true or false. Okay. All right, so Natalia, you can start and do the first one. The Sydney Opera House is located in Sydney Harbour. It's true. Is it true? Yes, it is. That's an easy. Okay, second one. Uh, Nikita. Uh, the Sydney Opera House was designed by a Swedish architect. True. Sorry? False. Uh, false. false. Oh, it's false. Who was the designer? Where was he from? Danish. He was Danish. Yeah, he was Danish, not Swedish. He was from Denmark. Excellent, good. Okay, Liz, next one. The architect John Hudson had some disagreements with the government about the project. Yes, he had. True. Mm, good. Yeah, he, there was a disagreement which led to a delay yeah, in the construction. Okay, number four. Roman? Roman? Yeah. Uh, there are more than 100 It's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than 1,000 performance rooms. Excellent. Yeah. Wow, that's huge. Can you imagine that? More than 1,000 performance rooms in the building. That's unbelievable. And the last one, Natalia? The Opera House cost almost $100, no, $100 million to build. Exactly. That's true. Yep, yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. It costs. A hundred million dollars. All right, so uh, um, okay, let's do the vocab. So here we have whoo, sixteen vocabulary words. So we're going to learn a lot today. All right. So on the left, we have sixteen words. And on the right, we have the definitions, but we need to match those definitions correctly. 
So let's have a look. Let's have a look. The very first one. Roman, what do you think is yeah. the best one? I don't care what it is. Okay, if you come across a word you don't understand, for example, jut, yeah, you've never heard it before. You can Google it, okay? Oh, I want you to Google it and find out the meaning. Um, so sorry, I sorry, sorry, I hear you very bad. I don't hear what you say. Maybe it's not connected to my mic. Yeah, I have difficulty hearing you as well. Um, there's like a delay from you, Roman. Are the other students I just, hearing me okay? I just, I just, I just listen. Okay. There is an echo. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. Comes and goes. Okay, so what's the first one? What's the answer? I can answer. Okay, what's the one? I think JAT is uh, E, stick out, extend out. Yes, very good. So it's going to be E. Has anyone heard of this word before? No. No. Or would anyone like to give uh, an example of a sentence with this word? Mm. No one? No. Someone has to give me a sentence. At least try. <clears throat> so, jut, to jut, it's a verb, yeah? <clears throat> when something is sticking out. Maybe uh, jut helps us to go in easier in the building. Mm -hmm. no. Like stairs. Mm, yeah, it has to be a verb. Mm -hmm. So what is uh, jutting? Something has to jut, which means stick out. Or um, what's another word? Protrude. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah, try to do it. Maybe uh, the Sydney's Opera's house canvas jut out of roof. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can say that because if you look at it, it does uh, stick out. Yeah? See these points? They jut out, yeah? Very good. Yeah, that's a good example. Okay, let's do number three then. Nikita? Yeah. Number two? Design. Design. Kind of far behind that, that does not represent things in the usual way. Mm. No. So design here is a verb. Uh, we, yeah, we know design can be a noun, but in this case, it's a verb. Mm. So to design something. Prepare, plan, plan, all in something. Yes, excellent. So prepare a plan or drawing of something to be made. Good. So give me a quick sentence with de uh, design. Sentence. 
Yes. Uh, they have designed a very um, beautiful plan of uh, building. Did you use design? I didn't hear it. Huh? Did you use the word design in your sentence? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, they have designed uh, a beautiful plan of building. Excellent. Yeah, they have designed um, a beautiful plan of the building. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, number three. Liz? Spectacular. Gee, amazing, fantastic, fantastic to look at, great. Yeah. So sp spectacular. G. Something amazing. Fantastic to look at. Great. Okay, give us a quick sentence with spectacular. Um, the woman uh, was. Uh, uh, the woman had spectacular look yesterday. The woman had oh, oh. spectacular look. Yeah? You have to put the article in front. So the woman had a, a spectacular look yesterday. Very good. Okay, number four. Roman? Architect, uh, that's not the one. So architect is a noun. A person who designed the That's the one, yeah. <clears throat> so it's a person who designs buildings. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Good. Give me a quick sentence with architect. Yeah. So, can you think of a sentence with architect? Just design something. Hmm. A simple would say just design architecture. Architects maybe who is uh, building uh, build new new house maybe. Mm -hmm, good. Okay, so an architect uh, designs houses, so, or I'm building a new house and the architect is coming today to help with the design. Okay, good. Natalia, number five. Number five is DO2. In this context, because of? Yes, good. Because of. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, give us a quick sentence with it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> if the trip is uh, a success, uh, um, a lot of this will be due to my husband, for example. Oh, very good. Very good example. So, I have to tell you guys, but this due to is a very good replacement for because of. Yeah? So, when you're speaking and you, you need to use because of, uh, if you know that you can use due to as well, try to mix it up. Because if you always say because of this, because of that, you sound a bit boring yeah, and repetitive. So try to implement due to instead of because of. Okay, that's a very good replacement. All right, number six. Nick. Mm. Issues. Uh, mm. Questions for discussion. 
Yes, that's it. Number six, issues, questions for discussions. Okay, give me a give me a quick example of issues. How would you use it in a sentence? We have a lot of issues about this topic. Yeah, so questions for discussion. So we need to discuss these issues. Very good. Good example. Okay, thank you. Number seven. Liz? Ah, your microphone is uh, muted. Sorry. Okay. Construct. Mm -hmm. uh, build. A build. Yes, that's the one. So it's going to be build. build. Construct. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a quick sentence. To construct a house, uh, you should have. Uh, if you want to construct a house, you should have a lot of money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. You definitely have. Okay, good. Next one. Number nine. Roman? Uh, number nine or eight? Uh, oh, sorry, eight. Yeah, eight. Uh, concrete. Yeah, concrete? Yes. Concrete. Maybe it's there. On such as two square pieces and bricks. Sorry, which one? Uh, C. No. Yeah, can you tell me a concrete, concrete other walls, maybe dig uh, some of it? Okay. Concrete. Um, concrete. We use cement to make concrete. You know cement? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we mix cement with some material and Maybe after it's a, it's a hard building material. Yes, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's do number nine. Roman? Oh, sorry. Um, Natalia, your microphone's muted. Okay. Number nine. Peel. Mm -hmm. A structure built out into the water to walk on or as a place to tie up a boat. Yes, very good. <coughs> when you go to the river, you can see a lot of piers there with their beautiful ships. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll accept that. All right. So a pier is like a, you know, a platform on on pillars, like a flat platform on pillars, um, which you can find on the shore, the sea. Okay, let's do next one. Um, Nick. Oh, yeah. Tile. Uh, C. Square piece of baked clay used for walls, roofs, floors, etc. Excellent, very good. All right, give us a sentence with it. Uh, I have an excellent tiles in my bathrooms. Bathroom. Okay, I have excellent tiles, or maybe. Uh, yeah, I have facts. Yeah, if you want to talk about the appearance and the look of the tiles, you can say I have beautiful, beautiful looking tiles uh -huh. in my apartment. Yeah, very good. Nice. 
That's a nice sentence. Okay, 11. Liz? Sections. Uh, parts, pieces. Yes. Parts or pieces. Mm. Think of an example of sections. <coughs> Sydney Opera House has uh, two sections. The largest concert hall and the dancing or singing concert hall. Oh, very good. That's true, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've done a, an assignment on that. That's good. Excellent. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Number 12. Roman? Your microphone, uh, Roman, is muted. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Cable, yes. Yes. What is in cable? Sorry. Have a look. We have one, two, three, four, five answers left. Which one do you think it is? I can explain what is means uh, words cable. Like the other words. If I give you an example, then you will know the answer. Does anyone know what cable uh. means? Maybe two is one. Can answer this question? Cable. Omar, have you used the Google sometimes? So very strong rope, wire or chain. Yeah, exactly. It's oh. Yeah, so it's a very strong it's rope, true. wire or chain. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so yeah. cable. In in the text we had a steel cable. So the opera house uh, yes. is held together. So yeah, uh, its construction is put together by 200 or over 200 miles of steel cable. This is why it's so strong. Yeah, because it's a very unusual, unusual shape and design, and it has to have steel cable, steel wire. Yeah or steel rope in order to stay together and not fall apart. Okay, good. Uh, number 13. Natalia? Mm -hmm. 13. Performance. It's a show, public presentation of music, a play, etc. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you if you go with us, you um, will see the spectacular performance of uh, opera theater. Yes, very good sentence. Yeah, <clears throat> good example. Thank you. Number fourteen, Nick. Yeah, fourteen. We know. Uh, place where an event occurs. Yep. Place where an event occur occurs. Mm. Give us an example of a sentence with venue. Uh, uh, the Pintoid's venue is London. Is in London. Is in London, yeah. Mm, good. Yeah. Nice example. Thank you. Number 15, Liz. Rehearsal. B, practice for a public performance. Yeah. So rehearsal, rehearsal. practice, public performance. Good celebrities. Uh, have uh, uh, much rehearsals 
to have a good performance. Mm -hmm. okay. But you have to say uh, celebrities have many rehearsals. Many. Yeah. Because rehearsals because are countable. countable. Exactly. Very good. Okay, and last one, Roman. Uh, abstract. The kind of art of design that does not respond to things in the usual way. Hmm. So it's kind of art or design? Kind of art of design. How would you use abstract in a sentence? So you can see like the technology, so correct, yeah? Can't. Mm. No. So it's, it's an adjective, so something has to be abstract. Technology, not necessarily. We wouldn't call technology abstract. I can build a sentence. Yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, at the exhibition, we can see abstract paintings. Very good. So if you go to a museum or an art gallery, in the art gallery you will see many abstract paintings. Yeah. Yeah. So like unusual. Yeah, unusual. Not very common. Okay. <laughs> So that's the Let's see if you can use them in the six sentences below. Natalia, can you do the first one? The boys. I need, uh, oh, can you please <laughs> <laughs> down? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, can I ask oh, everyone sorry. to keep your microphone muted, please? Because there is some echo in the background. It's quite disturbing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So if you want to say something, then you can put your microphone on. Okay. okay thank you, guys. Okay, Natalia. Mm -hmm. Peshak, please turn off your microphone. Okay. So the boys sat on the. Mm, sit on the keep, but I don't remember the word. <laughs> okay, I'll show you the word again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Peer. Good. Yeah, the pier. Mm -hmm. So the boys and fished all afternoon. Mm -hmm. And fished all afternoon. And what was the pier? What's the pier mean again? The pier is a place where um, structure built out into the water to walk on as a place to tie up a boat. Excellent, yes. Very good. Okay, number two. Okay, well, I see we have some new students joining. Sorry, just uh, bear with us. Um, um, you joined a bit late. Nikita, can you do the next one? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Can you show me the... Okay. Uh, Ah, yeah, I know. Uh, due to the rain, uh, yes, the picnic will be cancelled. Excellent. Due to the rain, this is the word we're looking for. And due to is the replacement for? Uh, because of. Yes. So because of the rain or due to the rain, the picnic will be cancelled. Very good. Well done, Nick. Okay, three, Liz. The musicians should have one more rehearsal before the big weekend show. Excellent. 
the musicians should have one more rehearsal mm -hmm. before their big weekend show. Here's the word rehearsal. Okay. Number four. Roman. Roman? I can hear something from the smile of talk, I think. Okay, we can hear you now. I don't hear I don't hear nothing, sorry. Okay, maybe oh. Nata Natalia can do four. Mm -hmm. The officials of the Olympic Games haven't yet chosen the performance, maybe, for the skating events. Mm. No. So the performance is the skating events. No. Okay. So what else? Venue, maybe. Yeah. The venue for the skating events. Good. The venue. The venue is the... Is the place. The place where the performance will be held. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Number five. <clears throat> Nick. Ah, there will be several important issues to discuss at today's meeting. Very good. There will be several important issues to discuss at today's meetings. Nice. And the last one, Liz. She slipped on the wet tile floor and cut her head. Tile. Yeah, good. Yeah, tile. So she slipped on the wet tile. Did you say, is there a D at the end? Tile. Yeah, very good. Yeah. So you can say tile floor as well. Or you could say concrete floor. Okay, so concrete or tile, both are correct. Okay, so concrete or tile, both are correct. All right, those were the questions. Let's now discuss a little bit uh, for the last five minutes. Um, so over here we have Okay, so let's talk about some famous buildings that you have seen that impressed you. So here yeah, we're going to discuss a little bit. Who can mention a famous building that you are really impressed by? I can say about Big Ben because it is a symbol of London. And everyone knows about that Big Ben exists. Yeah. And uh, this clock is very um, necessary if you... and Maybe useful? You can, you, useful, useful. And you can um, watch the clock on the Big Ben and don't take uh, your uh, watches from back. Yeah, so it serves, it serves a great purpose. It's a clock, yeah? Everyone can look up and see the time. And um, so you don't have to make your own watch. Yeah, If you're working nearby the uh, Big Ben Tower. Very good, yeah. That's a very uh, nice structure. Okay, any other structures, Nick or Natalia, that impressed you? Uh -huh. I don't know. Maybe the Eiffel Tower in Paris, Nick? Maybe, but actually I am not really interested in architecture, so... Okay, what about... Okay, Natalia? 
Okay, <clears throat> when I was in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai, I saw a lot of uh, spectacular buildings and skyscrapers there. And um, the tallest building in the world is um, the Burj Khalifa, yeah, which um, is about uh, 900 meters. Yes. And it contains uh, about 170 floors. Wow. Okay. That's spectacular. Yeah, I was there actually as well, uh, not inside the building, mm -hmm. the Burj Khalifa, but I was outside taking pictures. <laughs> I was trying to get the tall, that tall building in the shot of the camera. It was mm -hmm. almost impossible because it's so tall. But that definitely is something spectacular. Uh, that would be modern uh, architecture in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been inside? Oh no, no. Just outside. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Do you know of any other um, symbols that represent a certain country? As we know, the Sydney Opera House. It's like a. It's become a symbol of Australia. Yeah. So, do you know of any other symbols or any other structures of any other countries? Great Chinese Wall. Yes, the Great Chinese Wall. Absolutely. That's another. You can see that from space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Taj Mahal in India. Very good. Have you been there? No. That's spectacular as well. And that one has. So this is not modern, is not modern but it, there's a lot of meaning to it. It was built. You know the history behind that? The Taj Mahal. Yeah, there's there's a history there, and it was built for you know romance and so on. Okay, any other ones? No. Okay, I think we'll wrap it up then. So, I'll give you the link of this uh, just quickly, so you can keep that and uh, save it in your documents. Uh, let's see. Just a Sorry. Okay, so um, here's the link, and you can have that and save it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining. Nick, nice to meet you. Hope to see you soon again. Um, have a lovely day, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Take care. No problem. No problem. Take care, guys. Enjoy Friday. Bye. 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 Bye.